Hello again, this is Shirley Park from We Learn to Share, and this would be my first class on data visualization. So as this is the part where we left off last class, I want to shift the focus into library. So during the first class, I told you that we often use the pandas library in most of the related scenarios. But this time, I want to introduce you a different library called the Matplot library and also the Seaborn. So both of these are visualizing focused libraries that allow you to comprehensively show and exhibit any data files or graphs or etc. But then I personally prefer Seaborn. I also recommend you using Seaborn because there are very much specific and exclusive plot on bases that are based on statistics, which allow you to conditionalize or flexibly alter the palettes and change the basic colors. So it's really much um, compatible with the Pandas data frame and therefore something I would recommend you in this um, specific challenge program. So to import this to our own data file, I want to do import and then the matplot library and then pyplot as plt. So importing matplot library. And then we want to do matplot library in line to order this in. And then we also want to import seaborn as well and put this into set. If you run this and you have a syntax error here, just incorporate a percentage key and then you'll have this successfully run down. So next, I want to go on to categorizing data with categorical data sets. So this time, I want to touch upon the gender issue. I will just categorize this down to um, markdown. Yeah. So to start off with, my challenge here is to get the percentage of men who survived. So the challenge here is get the percentage of men who survived in the Titanic. And if this is the case and the challenge that I'm proposing you, the first thing you would need is the total sum number of men who survived and divide that by the total number of men. So this means that I want to get both the number of men who survived and the men. Um, yeah. And to do that, I want to introduce you a lock file. And what this is a typical pandas um, command that you could use as a conditional. So for example, I want to save all the necessary information related to survived men in the male variable. And then I want to call in the data frame train data because there is where we have all the information. And then I will use the lock. So period and the lock. And then now, we will input all the conditionals that we want to input in this specific command in within this bracket. And in this case, we want to get the mail, right? So first, we type in the data frame because there is where there, this is specifically where we have to get the data out from. And then we do the sex column because if you look above, then this is sex is the name of the column. So that is why you put in the name of the comment here. And then we do the equal equal. So this means that when these two values on the right and the left are same to male. So the conditional here means that if the sex is equal to the value of male, then we run this log. So if you do that in do men, you'll be able to see that all the um, values that have been mentioned here are in the our males or background information 
or identified files of males. So there is no female here in this module. But then my question here at the end of the day was the percentage of men who survived, right? So it's not only the male. So you also want to add the condition survive. So this means that we're the condition here is trying to order a male who survived, which would be one in this case, like this example that I'm highlighting. So if you do this after, you'll be able to see that this change into a data file where it really much tells you about the length of the file or the data type of this, etc. Yep, and moving on, I want to find the rate, the final step. So I'll title this variable rate of men. And then first, we will need the sum of the men. This means that we're adding up all the values that are existent within this column. And then we want to divide that by the length of the men, which is the total length of data frame. So how many men there were, we counted as a total. And if we run this file, rate men, it would show us the percentage. So this would mean that about 18.9% of male survived in the ship. If you want to put this more um, explicitly, just add in print, and then percentage of men who survived, and then put in the variable name, and now you get to see the full outcome. So you could do the same with female, and I'll leave this to you as a challenge to get the number of female who survived. It would be very much the same with just like what we did right now. So make sure you just check on the type or the name of the variables and fix whatever you want to do. Yeah, this would be my challenge and homework for the class. See you.